We are in November, a month of memories, and a time to renew our hope and our faith. A time to remember our loved ones who have, who have gone home to the Lord. That word departed may not be the right word. That word means as if they have gone away, leaving us behind. Our faith is in the communion of the saints. It means everybody who has died, they are still with us, just beyond our eyes. They are where we are, so they are not far away from us. They are around us, around us, surrounding us, always with us. So what will be the thoughts that go through your mind these days? If you still you are mourning the loss of your loved one, because that you miss that physical closeness. Living in this body and the mind, you still long for that physical close to see the loved one, your parents or your spouses or your children. Or so natural. But then you have to remind yourselves, here I am in my body and mind, I can't see my, my parents or my spouse, but they are still with us every moment watching over me, looking after me, and waiting for my coming home to them. They are waiting for my coming home to them. And we should be in a way waiting for that reunion. Yeah, looking forward to that reunion. So, in the midst of your sadness, our sadness and sense of loss, how that faith, refresh that faith, that hope that one day we are going to see our loved ones again. I like these words of the late poet John O'Donohue from his poem On the Death of the Beloved. Though we need to weep your loss, you dwell in that safe place in our hearts where no storm or night or pain can reach you. May you continue to inspire us. May you continue to inspire us to enter each day with a generous heart to serve the call of courage and love until we see your beautiful face again. In that land where there is no more separation, where all tears will be wiped from our mind and where we will never lose you again.